the story of the Good Samaritan. This story can be found in the Bible in Luke chapter 10, verse 30. It's all about a guy called Trevor. Trevor was a Jew and he lived in Jerusalem. And one day he thought he would travel to Jericho to see his family. So he packed up his bag and started to walk along the road that led to Jericho. But that road was a very dangerous road. And unbeknown to Trevor, up ahead there was a gang waiting for him. They were a nasty gang. They were called the Red Hand Gang. Now we're not sure why they called the Red Hand Gang because they all had yellow hands. But anyway, they were a very dangerous gang and they were waiting to jump onto Trevor and steal all of his stuff. So as Trevor came round the corner, they leapt from the tops of the rocks and jumped on him with their spades and their spanners and their clubs and their spears. They threw him to the ground and started hitting him really hard. And to make it worse for Trevor, it started raining and so he got really wet as well. The Red Hand Gang were laughing. Ha 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 ha! We've beaten Trevor up and stolen all of his stuff! We're so cool! But they weren't cool because Trevor was really hurt and as they walked off with his stuff he was left with a really bad arm and he was almost dead. About an hour later there was someone started to walk towards Trevor. It was the priest. Now the priest was from the church and Trevor thought great the priest is going to help me of course he will he's a good person but when the priest saw Trevor lying on the ground he got scared as well. He didn't want to help him in case he got attacked as well and so he started to cross over to the other side of the road and he walked away from Trevor. Trevor was really sad. Why did he do that? About an hour later someone else was walking towards him. It was the Levite called Liam. Now Levites were part of the church as well. They were involved in the singing and helped with the building of the church and he thought well certainly Liam's going to stop and help me. But you know what? Liam got scared as well. When he saw Trevor lying on the ground, he thought he might be attacked as well. And so he crossed over to the other side of the road and he left him. He walked away from him. About an hour later, Trevor saw someone else coming towards him. It was the Samaritan called Stuart. Now, Samaritans hated the Jews. There was no way that Stuart was going to stop and help him. But you know what? He did. He saw that he was in need. He got his medical kit off his horse and he knelt down beside him and started to mend him. They put bandages on his arms and they healed the parts of his body that were really hurting. Trevor was overwhelmed. Thank you, Stuart. I thought you hated me. No, I don't hate you. I'm a good Samaritan. Lemon, let's get on the back of my horse and we'll take you to the local inn and see if they can look after you until I can return tomorrow. And that's what they did. They rode off and they found a local inn and they asked the innkeeper, excuse me, could you look after my friend Stuart? He's been done over by the Red Hand Gang. Yeah, of course I will. I don't mind doing that, but it's gonna cost you. Well, look, here, here take two pieces of silver and that'll pay for now. And then I'll come back tomorrow, said Stuart. And then when Trevor's well, I'll pay you any more. So Trevor went into the bed, into the inn and was looked after by the innkeeper. And Stuart walked off the Good Samaritan. What an amazing thing he did. Even though he was meant to hate Trevor, he didn't. He loved him. And that's what the Bible says about the Good Samaritan. We should love our enemies. That's really hard, especially when you've got people like the Red Hand Gang. Well, actually, they got locked up and they said they were really sorry and they got put in jail for a long time. But Jesus said, love your enemies and do good to those who hurt you. That's a fantastic message to live by. Always remember Stuart, the good Samaritan who helped someone in time of need.